Hi guys and welcome to my very first video for 2017 for the Kidaholic Kits um, YouTube channel. I am going to be doing a project life um, process today. So I'm going to do it a bit differently where I am going to do some talking while I'm actually creating and fast forward um, certain bits. Um, I don't have time to do a voiceover, I believe, and maybe pushing it, I might be able to, but I think I'll um, talk while I'm creating, and yeah, so uh, if you don't know already, I am doing it in 9x12, I still haven't done my um, title page, but I have got this calendar at the start, and I got that this idea from um, Tracy Armstrong I think she does it in her 9 brand 12 I'm pretty sure that's her name um, Tracy XO on um, YouTube uh, she is design team for Studio Calico so and then these spreads have been shown up on the Kidaholic Kits um, Facebook page and this was, I'm not doing a weekly card, but I am roughly um, doing one week per spread. So um, I still got to fuse this down. And I had a little insert because we had, I uh, went to the movies. And yeah, that was all the movies. And then this side has a flap here. I still got to include, include something there. But I'm just loving that using this one kit everything's cohesive so this was my kind of week two and this was also up on the kidaholic kits facebook page so and i did a little insert here because we've be, just been swimming in the pool that's all we seem to be doing <laughs> um it was i don't know yeah the second week um it was just so hot so and then we get on to this spread and I'm using the back of this one, which was, um, it was American Crafts, and it had the three four by sixes and um, six three by fours, and I just sliced it off down the side there. So working with the back of that and that, and I may do an insert too, not sure. So I'm going to get my photos ready and um, trim down, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got all my photos trimmed down and um, paper's dirty already. Uh, let's see. So using my reference here, <laughs> I am going to put my photos in and some of my photos do have um, post-it notes on them because um, yeah, I thought these might yeah, I'm going to have to trim these down a tiny bit more. I noticed that they're not either. My photos are printed a little bit too big. Or the pockets are not true. Three by four. So as I was saying, yes, I've got post-it notes on quite a few of these um, photos because over the holidays the kids saw their friends and um, it was a birthday party so for privacy reasons I cannot show their faces and now it's stuck in here oh, come on okay got my photos in most of them have been done in the collect app um, I find that I I like to have just a little snippet of journaling with the photos and it um, it gives me a bit more space to have a bit more decorative and, and breathe the room than trying to cram it all into the pages so what I'm doing today is Chrissy's um, PL challenge and it is to create a project life spread using cards made with at least three of these things so there's mist, sequins, wood veneer, doilies, enamel dots bling, tiny alphas, and twine. 
and sorry I've got my kit and I've got I think I'm down to my scrapbook to the main kit so I am happy to make my own cards and I might just play around a bit and then come back and talk
okay guys I think I am done um, I'll just walk you through a few I've got Heidi Swap um, color shine all over my hands and everywhere else the navy takes a little bit longer to dry too so um, yeah I'll have to note that next time but for the challenge use at least three of these things in a project life spread I use the mist I use some sequins I didn't use the wood veneers I thought I might have used the hearts but I think I've embellished enough so I left them off um, doilies and I managed to get it quite a few on there the white ones are from my stash and the silver one is from the kit I end up um, I don't know if you can notice on this card but you can see the adhesive underneath that doily because it's so thin so I end up with these two going with um, some vellum adhesive and um, you can't see it as much so we got the doilies I use the enamel shapes and dots um, and I used a bit of twine here and here and I didn't use the tiny uppers so I did pretty good I think so I'll just take you through the cards and this one's just a filler card and I think when hanging off I haven't glued that one down um, this one the um, flare will be stuck to the outside of the page protector because I find if you stick them to the actual card um, they don't stay in the pocket so there's that one and that's another favorite of mine just to layer the doilies and cluster something on it then I've got this really simple card a bit of um, the glitter washi tape some of the ephemera to write my journaling on and I will underline that and go over some of them words where the mist got on to there um, then we got this one and that was that um, two and a half by two and a half piece of white cardstock piece of ephemera I may put some sequins on no I think I might yeah I think I'll leave that just as it is so there's that one there's this pretty um that's so pretty that paper and just half the doily a bit of twine a label and I think no it was that label yeah that label was from the kit some of the enamel um, dots and the um, the pearl bling as well wherever I put that um, some of the silver hearts I wanted to try and bring some silver over here because I had that doily so um, half a doily that label here was from a previous kit um, the three silver arrows from that Heidi Swap sticker sheet and some sequins and of course the mist and then this one um, oh, uh, this one I just cut the pattern paper a bit shorter than the white cardstock so I could write a bit of journaling Add a bit of ephemera and add the glitter washi tape and what else have I got uh, I did embellish this photo a little bit with a um, label um, a cut apart from the cut apart sheet and an enamel shape so I'm really I'm gonna leave this to dry because that mist just takes so long to dry and um, I'm really loving that all my January is all in the same collection so it's very cohesive for the whole whole first month of the year so I will definitely be using this kit for my next week as well so I hope that I inspired you in some way um, and I'll catch you in the next video see ya